Welcome back to Backyard History, a short series where I explore all the incredible historical spots in my own backyard. In episode 6, we're checking out the Vanderbilt Mansion. This estate was a seasonal home of Frederick and Louise Vanderbilt. Frederick was the son of William Vanderbilt and grandson of Cornelius Vanderbilt, who built the family fortune on railroads and shipping and is one of the richest Americans in history. Prior to the Vanderbilt's ownership, this Hyde Park estate had previously been home to Dr. Samuel Bard, a physician to George Washington during the American Revolution, David Hosack, the noted horticulturist, and the Langdon family, descendants of John Jacob Astor. Just like the Mills family in our last episode, the Vanderbilt selected the architectural firm of McKim, Mead, and White to update and design the home under their new ownership. Though modest compared to the grand houses of Vanderbilt's siblings, they spared no expense on the interior, filling it with exotic wood paneling, imported marble, French tapestries, and, as was custom, antique building components salvaged from the great houses of Europe. Following Frederick's death in 1938, the home was left to Louise's niece, Margaret Van Allen. She, at the suggestion of the Vanderbilt's neighbor, President Franklin D. Roosevelt, conveyed the house, furniture, and 200 acres to the U.S. government. It was opened to the public in 1940. Check out my full-length video in the description below to take a full tour inside.